Hey my Tiffany J Inspired friends, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. Today I am doing thrifting tips. So many people ask me on my Instagram, how do I thrift, where do I thrift, and is there a proper way to thrift? And today I am telling you all the insides on thrifting, so stay tuned and I'll see you in a minute. <music> okay so these are not in any particular order they are just tips that i've used to really stretch my dollar literally um so tip number one that i definitely 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 need you guys to remember is make a plan make a goal know why you are going to the thrift store don't just say i'm going thrifting today have a plan what do you need especially if you are a first time thrifter you're gonna get overwhelmed especially if the thrift store is like super big you're gonna get overwhelmed and you're going to leave i've done it before trust me have a plan know what you are looking for if you're going because you want like cute dresses and skirts that's your goal you're gonna go to the dress and the skirt department first everything else is a bonus if you don't make it to the shoe department it's okay you didn't come there for shoes you came for your dresses and your skirts so make a plan so you are not disappointed if you go into the thrift store and you just start looking at everything trust me you're gonna get overwhelmed there's so so much in a thrift store there's shoes there's coats there's toys and stuff for your children there's furniture there's everything so make sure you have a plan okay okay so another tip is have a budget don't go i know thrift stores have amazing prices you're gonna buy up everything i know but you don't need to okay have a budget if 50 dollars is your budget stick with the $50 only take $50 with you so you just don't just buy things you're not buying junk you're just not buying it because it was two dollars or a dollar or whatever that's how hoarding starts <laughs> and you don't want to be a hoarder so have a budget stick with the budget the next tip I want to share with you is please have ample time to shop you do not want to go to the thrift store with only 20 minutes to shop. You're not going to buy anything. You're going to leave. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to be over it. Please allow yourself at least one hour to shop. At least one hour to shop. I know some people are just like, that is too long. When you're going thrifting, you're going to need to take that hour to look through everything. It's not like you're going to like one of your favorite department stores or higher end stores where you'll have a shirt and right behind the shirt, you'll have all your sizes for that one shirt. No, thrifting is a whole different ball game. Like you may only find one of everything in a store. There's like usually 10% chance you're going to find an item that has so many different sizes unless you are going to a thrift store that has um, new items. There are thrift stores that purchase items as well where they sell used items and they'll have new items in the store. So that's rare. So most of the items that you are actually thrifting at a thrift store are one of a kind items so you need ample time to be able to go through every piece of clothing in the area that you've set your goal to look for so if you're going to the dresses you're gonna to have to probably look at every dress that they have because some thrift stores are not size categorized I know I know 
However, you may score something amazing for super cheap. So just have ample time. That's why it's very important to have a goal. If you are new to thrifting, I would say have maybe one to two um, categories when you're shopping. So if you're shopping for dresses, just go through the dress section, especially if it's a large thrift store, so that you can have ample time to look at the dresses. And it will bring me to my next tip, which is check for stains and holes and any kinds of damages that may be to that garment of clothing that's very important you do not want to bring home anything that's damaged and unrepairable why because most thrift stores are final sell you cannot return the item so yeah you might want to check to see what the item has in store for itself Another tip, I know, so much information, but I'm telling you guys, this is definitely going to help you. Another tip is find out if your local thrift store has a rewards program. Rewards program, like, right? what? Yes, some thrift stores, well, many thrift stores today have rewards programs. And rewards programs are programs where you get exclusive emails on the day that they have sales or even stores like my local Plato's Closet. They're all franchises so you have to make sure they are all doing it. Um, that has like a super dollar back rewards program where just say if you spend like $30 they'll give you $5 to use like in your next purchase or you can keep building those $5 or $10 up and you can use it for cash and you can get like a whole wardrobe for free. There's times where I've gotten you know like four or five items for free because I let my points rack up and rack up and rack up and that is such an amazing amazing deal I mean the prices are already amazing at various thrift stores so if you can get money back on these items like we just hit the jackpot okay okay oh crrr. okay then well let's step it up a notch then <laughs> so yes Rewards programs, points programs, that is something you definitely want to find out. So, yes, that is a very, very important tip. Because if you want to save, if you want to save, if you want to save, you better find out. Okay? Another tip is find out the sale days. Every thrift store does not have a rewards program. So you definitely want to find out when it's their sale day. There is a store that I go to called Red, White, and Blue. That's a thrift store at my local Red, White, and Blue. They all may be different. Their sale days are Saturdays. That's when they have basically everything except like two colors or one color that's 50% off. Yes, they have sales other days, but Saturdays are their biggest sell day. So I love shopping Saturdays because I'm getting better deals on items. So make sure you call your local thrift store and be like, hello, when is your sell day? And they should be able to tell you. If they say every day, hey, I'm sorry, you're going to have to go thrifting every day. Okay? So definitely call to find out those um, sell days because that's going to be very beneficial, especially when you want to save tons of money. Next thrifting tip. Find out if your store does sell price changes. I know this is getting crazy, right? I feel like I'm teaching in a college course. Like I feel like I'm definitely teaching a college course right now, right? Okay, so another store I go to, they change the sale weekly. So you want to make sure you go the day that the color changes, like the first day that the color changes, okay? So just say Monday is the day that they change their tax. You want to go on a Monday because you want to get first dibs on the items. Because by Friday, if that whole week they have pink tax 99 cents, by Friday, you're going to get scraps. You're getting scraps. I'm sorry. You're getting the leftover things that are 99 cents, probably damaged with holes and everything else. You want to go the day that they change the tag initially so you'll get first dibs. Okay? Next 
that brings me to my next tip do not well you can do what you want to do however i do not recommend you go thrifting the day after a big sale you're gonna be mad why because it's not gonna be resolved the employees the manager and everybody is all mad because y'all the messed up they store the day before in a sale day because you know people get reckless at a thrift store especially when things are on sale do not go the day after a big sale because you're not going to find anything it's going to be empty it's not going to be restocked i would say wait maybe two or three days after to um go back and that way the store will be a little more fuller it'll go um it'll actually be more replenished however i do suggest do you go the day before the sale i know it's kind of weird because like you want to go in the sale day but then again it's crazy that day you do not want to go after but i feel like if you go the day before even if you don't buy anything you'll see what they'll have on the sale day and i don't suggest you doing this however you know you pick around finding things you're going to buy right and you put it in a little hiding spot now if you do that don't come for me if the next day you go looking for your items and they're gone okay so i'm not telling you to go and do that however i mean it's a little tip <laughs> but don't come for me if you do that and your items are going the next day because somebody your size found your little jackpot stash and they bought everything okay no and don't blame me but that is something you know you might think about doing um go to day before just browse around see what they have is it worth going the sell day when it's hectic when people are like throwing things around and because it can be like that don't want to scare you but sometimes it can be like that so definitely um yeah don't go the day after a sale, but do try to go the day before the sale. Okay, so the next tip I wanted to share with you is try everything on. Everything in your basket, try it on because you don't want to get home, be disappointed. In most thrift stores, you cannot return it. Try it on. There's a lot of thrift stores that also do not have fitting rooms. So I do suggest that you layer up. Try to wear like a legging. Try to wear a tank top underneath your sweater and stuff so that you can remove all the big old bulky stuff. Still have, you know, your biker shorts or um, legging pants and a tank top on to throw the things over the things that you are looking to purchase. I do that all the time there's a lot of people that do it all the time it's not weird especially if you don't have a fitting room in your thrift stores there are a lot that have fitting rooms now but there are ones that I've gone to that I still go to that do not have fitting rooms so you want to make sure the items fit um, I don't suggest that you just be like you know what that looks like that'll fit me and I'm gonna buy it you're gonna be mad when you get home so please try it on if you can slip it on whatever you need to do sometimes that pan around the neck thing not gonna work okay <laughs> next tip and I don't try to be mean when I say this and I'm not trying to be mean when I say this but the next tip leave your naysaying friends at home leave those naysaying friends and family at home leave the nagging people at home leave the nagging kids at home listen this is like war when you're going thrifting <laughs> i'm so sorry to scare some of you but you need to be concentrated you don't need to be distracted if you like something buy it don't listen mm -mm. negative energy out the door just go by yourself you know or go with somebody who loves to to thrift because if you go with somebody who you know doesn't like to thrift or doesn't you're gonna be annoyed and then you're gonna leave and then you're gonna miss out on something amazing so if you can go by yourself 
but don't go with your kids if they're a little cranky because you know listen thrifting is just like it's a job like it's a job <laughs> especially if you want to find really great items i don't know i feel like i'm scaring some of you don't be scared i love thrifting like it's the best thing ever if you follow my instagram you already know how excited i get with thrifting because you find like hidden treasures like yes like super great deals oh, try to go alone or with friends who actually like to thrift and friends that actually like to thrift on their own like I'll meet you back at the register at 1 o'clock. It's 11.30 right now. I don't want to look at you right now. I want to thrift on my own, okay? That's how I am. I don't like everybody in my space. So, <laughs> thrift alone if you can, okay? Or, or bring me with you because I love thrifting. And I will leave you alone because I want to be left alone. But I love thrifting, so bring me along. So, this next tip I want to share with you is have fun. Like, make a game out of it. Like, I know all this information, your brain is going like, blah, 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 blah. but have fun. Please have fun thrifting. It's nothing serious. It's just finding great deals and just finding so many great treasures. You just never know what you're going to get okay have tons of fun another tip i want to definitely share with you because so many people do this and it grinds my everything <laughs> it really Just because you have a bad experience one time at a thrift store or you didn't find anything one time at one particular store does not mean that store does not receive great items. You could have simply went on a bad day. Or you could have went at a time where, you know, everything was not replenished or whatever the case may be. If you have a bad experience once, try again next week. Try again next month. Don't give up on that thrift store. You just never know what you'll get. Okay? Okay, guys? Do not, do not give up on a thrift store. Give that thrift store CPR. Give it another chance, okay? say okay okay <laughs> okay guys so another tip I want to share with you guys is such a big big tip okay buy it period if it's a dollar and you think you like it buy it don't just buy it you know because it's 99 cents but if you know you like it but you're unsure if you're gonna like it tomorrow buy it just buy it especially if it's like i said like 99 cents a dollar all right if you're going to like the 25 dollar first of all you don't need to be buying anything that's 25 dollars from the thrift store unless it's like you know it's worth a thousand dollars then you can slide However, if it's 99 cents, a dollar, two dollars, and it's more than worth that, and you like it, like you like it, you tried it on, it fits well, but however, you're having like little second thoughts with it, buy it because you do not want to regret not buying it later. I've done that countless times. I'm like, oh, I like this, I love that. But I put it back because I'm just like, oh, I don't need it. And then guess what? I needed it for an event or something coming up. So buy it, okay? Period. <laughs> buy it. Buy it. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you for watching today's video. I know so much information, but I really hope that it benefits you when you start going thrifting yourself. Or tomorrow you should go thrifting tomorrow okay <laughs>
but please like please share please subscribe hit that notification button whatever you need to do just stay connected to me on this channel and on my Instagram because I'm definitely showing so many deals on that page that I do not share on my channel so make sure you're following me there as well and I'll see you in my next video bye